So in class, we talked about developing uh, an Among Us pencil holder uh, with a tapered case uh, with an Among Us character in the front view on it. So this is what our finished product will look like or should look like, something along these lines as we can see. So we're going to walk through, and this is going to be uh, involving taking three parts. Uh, so we're going to come into our uh, drawing and on shape, and we're going to create a sketch on the top. And the first thing we're going to build is our uh, pencil case base. So we can see we have a two inch square with a three inch square above it, three inches high. So I'm going to come over here to my center point rectangle tool, and I'm going to draw that two inch square. I'm going to hit my green check mark it check mark, angle it so I can gain perspective. I'm going to come here to my plane. I'm going to click on the top plane and I'm going to create a new plane that's offset by three inches. I'm going to create a sketch on that new plane that I just created. I'm going to come over to my uh, center point rectangle and this one I'm going to draw, I believe we decided it was three inches. Yes, three inches by three inches. I'm going to hit my green check mark, gain perspective, and I can see I have my tapered case that's starting. I'm going to come here to my loft tool. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to select face one sketch, face two of that sketch, and I'm going to green check mark that. So what we can see here is we have the base for this. I'm going to come over to my shell tool. I'm going to click on the top face here. I'm going to change my shelling distance to 0.2. And now we can see we have that tapered container. Uh, I can right click over here. I can edit my appearance and I can color this uh, really any color that I'd like to for this. So now we have our pencil holder portion. So I'm going to rename this part pencil holder. And I'm going to hide this part. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with our Among Us character. So I'm going to create a sketch and I'm going to place that sketch on my front plane. Uh, the other thing we can do is we can hide that plane one that we created so we're not distracting ourselves. And I'm going to orientate myself to the front. I'm going to come over to my circle tool and grab my ellipse tool. I'm going to choose that center point. And to stick to our scale, I'm going to choose to create a four inch by a two inch ellipse. Yep. Let's change that to two inches. There we go, four inch by two inch, which will give us our general shape for that character. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my line tool. I'm going to start at the top here where these point intersects with our axis. And I'm going to draw a line that comes down uh, 2.3 inches. From that line, I'm going to draw a line until it intersects with the outside of my ellipse. which I think I had this at, as I look back, 2.4 inches, so I apologize. So that's gonna be 2.4 inches. And then I'm going to grab my line tool and I'm gonna go from this point to the outside of my ellipse on a straight line, and it should be 1.186. Uh, because I changed it after I drew it, I get a geometry error, I'm just gonna delete that off. So what I'm going to come up here is to my trim tool, which looks like a scissors. And I'm going to click on this line here, and I'm going to trim that portion, uh, giving me that uh, quadrant of the ellipse just past the center point here. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my revolve tool. I'm going to click on my revolve axis here. I'm going to click on the center of that and then my green check mark. What you're gonna notice is I now have the top portion of my character. Check out the next video to see how we continue building this.